prepared Steve Buscemi. All is well. Right. Well, Steve Buscemi is efficiency five, silk touched, and uh, one and unbreaking three. I didn't know he had it in him. Nah. Where did you put the books? Um, they're in the chest labeled books. Right oh, over here. I see. Away but... from the anvil, where they would be useful. <laughs> we talked about this earlier. Oh. Yeah. How many thingies can you put on a uh, on a thing? Three. Uh, <laughs> I think you can put on as many as are compatible. Yeah, you're yeah, probably right. Well, let me see. I've got uh, I got four different things on my bow right now, and four on my sword. That might be the most that's compatible with any one thing. Can you put power on a bow? Yes. yes. Yeah, power is the bow's yeah. damage enchantment. Okay, so punch is something else. Yeah, it's the uh, no, uh, bow equivalent punch... of knockback. Yeah, punch works on a bow, too. Yeah, punch is for bows. Okay, so punch is for bows, knockback is for melee. Tricks yes. is for kids. What is smite for? Uh, swords. Birds. Yeah, that's against undead. Yeah. And thorns is also for swords, right? Uh, thorns armor. is for armor. Oh, yeah, that's right, it is. Because then when stuff runs into you, they take damage from contact. I seem so, to have had skeletons take damage from uh, can, shooting me, too. Yeah, it just can, returns damage. Can hmm. power also go on a sword? Uh, no. no. They get what? knocked back. Sharpness goes on a sword. I thought you said... Or sharpness, knock... yeah. Sharpness yeah, is what goes on a sword, I suppose. And to... knockback goes on a sword. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And your butt goes on a sword. I hope not. No, actually, the sword goes in your butt. I hope not. I've slept on swords before. Might for the sword. Okay. It's funny. This is actually something. I... This is actually something. Apparently, a lot of guys I know have done before. How do I? How do I books? Put the weapon in the or the item in the first slot of the anvil, then put the book in the second slot. And it'll cost you uh, so much experience yeah. points. At this point, we have an infinite amount of experience points. I say it's not cheating just to go into creative mode and do it that way. It's just saving time. I don't even give a shit if it's yeah. cheating. <laughs> well, yeah. I don't think anyone gives a shit at this point anymore. I do not. See? There we go. Hello, skeleton. Thank you for shooting that chicken instead of me. I think I need to enchant my axe and Aww, name it Gary I'm out Busey. Of XP. I need six more XPs. Ah, uh, just go to creative mode. Somebody give me XPs. You can go chop down the coal wall. Yeah. I already did. Oh yeah. The whole thing. Yes, I accidentally the whole thing. How many okay. levels did you get out of it? A shit ton. Well, I only need ten more experience, or uh, I'm sorry, six more experience to um. To put what was like five, or to finish out the five enchantments I had selected. Hold on. Let's see, that looks deadly. I need Let's uh, handle this this way. Ah! That looks doable. Was well, that enough? No, not even remotely. Yeah, just keep going. Okay, I'm good. Unless you just want to keep doing it. I kind of like throwing things at you. But, I love you too, dear. Well, I meant for, you know, greater justice. Uh... I'm gonna go chant this damn axe. Just because. Like Do you have to repair an anvil? Uh, no, you have to replace an anvil. Oh, because eventually it dies? Yeah, it breaks after so many uses. That sucks. Oh boy, I got a fucking shovel of fortune. Well... I'm back to the mushroom biome after walking the entire coastline of this landmass. And guess what? Huh? No jungle. Yeah, fortune. I got fortune on my axe and my shovel. For some reason, it wouldn't let me put three enchantments on my sword. Hmm. It. You may have to be in creative to make it work. She well, it let me put two on it. I don't know. Maybe it changed the name because I named. I changed the name. It might of have. The item. Maybe. The baby, 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 yeah. baby. You have to give it back, but I want to show you this. Hmm. Pick up that sword. Sharpness Look. five, knockback two. Nice. Look at the name. Oh. Gary Blevins. Now give me back my sword. Huh. 
Yes, that's oh God. I think that was Pat Oswald. Yeah. He's you know, you know, talking about you know some kids who had you know written a story and then there was a unicorn named Michael Tanner. It's like that's like saying this is the sword that was forged out of pure meteor meteoric iron. And you know, blah blah blah, forged from the fires of hell. And its name is Gary Blevins. <laughs> now take Gary Blevins and defeat the evil, whatever the hell. Oh, yeah. Evil, whatever the hells are a pretty major problem. So we're okay, guns. well that expedition was a bust. Most of them are. You know what else is a bust? Hell. What? Jay's face. Oh uh, yeah, that is true. No, I'm just surprised that I was able to go around this whole place and not find a jungle. Yeah, that is kind of surprising. They're not exactly rare. On this on this landmass, they seem say, to apparently be. they're elusive little fucking critters. Well, I'm still wa wandering past the extreme hills to see what I can find. The extreme hills go on forever. Oh, yeah. Yes, but eventually you will just hit ocean. Yeah. I'm well, on the no, other landmass. Oh, you're on the other landmass? Yes. Well, eventually you'll hit okay. ocean there anyway. Well, yes. Yeah. Okay. I was going to say, though, no, being Rob, he will find the jungle, even though I'll even find if it he goes to the same place as I went, he will find the jungle. He'll there. find it, and wa where he walks in, there will be like a cluster of three jum jungle temples <laughs> and a jungle right. village, which doesn't even exist. But Have it will suddenly the... come into existence just for right. Rob. Have we uh, found a pyramid yet? I can't remember. No. Nah. Yes. Well, we yes. have found one in a various playthrough. Rob found a pyramid. Oh, he did? And didn't you disassemble it? Yes, yes she and I disassembled it. it. Oh, yeah. Because, you know, fuck Johnny Five. Yeah. Fuck Johnny Five? No, no disassemble. Oh, yeah. Rob got it. Ah. He's tired and full of Benadryl. So, I'm just saying, the guy that played the Hindu guy in that... Ah, uh, Fisher uh -huh. Stevens. Yeah. So not Hindu. No. At well, his all. His name is Fisher Stevens. Yeah. So, yeah. Why don't you specifically be Hindu so much as just Indian? Is he related to Cat Stevens? Probably not. I was yeah. about to say, Stevens is a really fucking popular last name, dude. I know. That's why well, I not popular, but common. Yeah, people pick that last name all the time. That's true. Ah, uh, just like Gary Blevins. Uh... God damn it, lava. Why must you be a jerk? Oh, there you are. Jeb, fix the lava. Uh. He won't. No, no one will ever fix I mean, the lava. We, we keep telling him to do stuff, and he doesn't listen. Well, it's in all fairness. Jeb is much like God. Yeah. He... Well, except we have proof Jeb exists. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Fine. Uh, we can, of course, we have no proof Notch exists, exists now that he shaved his beard. Well, no, but we knew he exist, existed before he shaved his beard. But now we have no proof he's actually Notch. Maybe they killed Notch off. What the no, fuck? They can't. It would explain why he looks so less or so unhappy now. Yeah. yeah that, he... or you know, the fact that it's cold in Sweden or Switzerland or wherever the hell they are, and now he doesn't have his, you know, face warmer. Yeah. In Swit Borkland, Switzer, Canada. That's and, Borkland. You know, that sounds... What? Borkland. He's... <laughs> <laughs> Apparently in Sweden, they consider the Swedish chef Norwegian. Because right, to them, the hundi hundi sounds Norwegian. Actually, it kind of does sound Norwegian. Yeah. <laughs> it's just kind of a... Well, it's nice to know racism. It's not really <laughs> racism so much as it is, you know... Well, no, uh, because the description I heard from the person was because it sounds like stupid baby talk. It's still not racism, that's because they're all white. It's not well, a race no, issue there's... so much as a, uh... Nationalism? Yes. Yeah. Well, they can nationalize their, you know, racism then. Well, you can, you know, syndicate any boat you row. What? Oh, yeah, Beatles. Dig a pony. I don't want to dig a pony. It's good for you, it has, you know, pony of flavor in it. Pony of Flavin is bad. But if you dig the pony too much, then it's going to turn into an alicorn because Hasbro thinks it can make more money on the new toy line. Yeah. 
Because uh, if you dig a pony too much, then you end up with really, really disturbing porn. Okay, yeah. well, this is a river biome, if, even though I can't see the other side of it. That's encouraging. There are river biomes? Yeah. Ah, neat. Yes, technically a river is a biome. Yeah. Neat. Technically I'm, your mother's I'm, a biome, too. I'm fording this river. I'm pretty sure my mother is, in fact, a, a solar system. Don't ford the river. There will be a recall. Oh, yes. See, I I was never be able to get the spark plugs in. Nah. Seriously. I was going to say, rather than fording the river, what you should do is, you know, try and jump. Walk your wagon and float it across. Yeah. No, I was... That too, but no, the the, <laughs> the bizarre version of Oregon Trail he got for the um, Xbox 360. Oh, yeah, Super Amazing Wagon Adventure. It's great. Yes, it's Oregon Trail, the first person, or the side scrolling shooter. Yes. It's wonderful. Yeah, so, and they're not see, there. See, they need to make a new Oregon Trail, but which is uh, Oregon Trail in space, so that you can get space distemper. See, I think uh, I think they need to make a version of it that it's a higher version, but instead it'll be Organ Trail, and yeah, you know, you're just following a pile of organs to the end of the game. Okay, this river biome segues into an ocean biome. That strikes oh, me well, as then, incredibly then unfair. Yeah. Then this is probably a waste of effort. Yeah, probably. You know what else is a waste of effort? Your mom. Yes. Well, it's not a waste of effort so much as a whole lot of effort to gain a disease. <laughs> hmm. There are better things that you could be doing with your time, though. Slamming your dick in a car door. Yeah. What's really weird is that Extreme Hill's Edge is appar apparently counts as its own biome. Huh. Yeah. It's a transitional stage between Extreme Hills and not Extreme Hills. Ah. Uh. Because, you know, Imagine you have that. to... You have to, um, to, to get used to the idea of not being extreme anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah least, just hills. At least they don't spell it with an X, because that drives me up a wall. Yes. God damn it. Extreme. No. This Ow. valley ended in a dead end. Well, well, then, you know, blow out the other side of it. At least it and didn't it end in to... dolls. What? Valley of the dolls. No. Nah. Okay, never mind. How about beyond the valley of the dolls? Nah. There's... Oh god, that's a. And those are books I've never actually been able to force myself to read. Nah. Uh, I can't even remember what the hell they're about anymore. On being up for 21 hours, I have no idea what any book is about at this point. Well, I know that the Vampire Hunter D books are about Vampire Hunter D. Well, yeah. And vampires. But I don't think there is an actual. Valley of the Dolls that, nah. you know, books are about. Nah. I don't know what they're about. I don't know. It's one of those old books, so it's probably... They're an older book, not, you know, super old. But it's probably extremely boring. Probably. Uh, the only, you know, the only reason I got a copy of Pride and Prejudice was because it was Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. Yeah. I also have sense and sensibility and sea monsters. Yeah, I have a friend that likes all of the old horrible Jane Austen books and so forth, and I just, I, I don't know why. That'd be Andy. No, actually, I don't think Andy can stand them. Okay. Um, no, that would be Liza. Ah. Probably because she's was told they were classic literature and she should like them. And she's not a bad person at all. I'm just saying. Seems like the sort of person who if someone said, oh, I love this, and she wanted to, you know, be friends with, well, not be friends with, emulate that person. Well, yes, but at the same time, there wasn't really anybody that we knew that liked those books. Mm. She just picked them up, read them, and decided that she absolutely loved really dry, boring books, apparently. Yeah, say that, no, that's just, she's an alien. Now, I'm sure there are people out there that love them. There are people out there, supposedly, that love the Grapes of Wrath. There are people out there, supposedly, that love, uh... What's his name? The horrible hack who shot himself. Hemingway? Yeah, that guy. Um, I, I can't understand why. The man was a sports writer, and he wrote fiction like a sports writer. I mean, that's just my opinion, of course. Because writing is one of those wonderful things, like art. 
You can't technically be right or wrong about it. Yeah, you can. Well, yeah. What was that one guy? He's the one that wrote, um... Is it Ralph Waldo Emerson? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. The one that wrote that one story that was, you know, supposedly about, you know, getting back to nature and uh, going and living by himself and, um... Oh, yeah. I can't remember what the hell the book is called. Yeah, yeah but it was... It's basically the proto I Am a Manly Man book. Yes. Oh, is it, like, Jack London? It might no. have been. No, no, it was a proto I Am a Manly, you know, survivalist man <laughs> book. But it... <laughs> The hell was the name of it? I don't know. Is it some? It was, some... It was mentioned in an episode of South Park. And Pawn Stars. Yeah. And someone brought an original copy of it, and he's like, "Yeah, it's worth a lot of money." And they're like, "No, nah, it's an overproduced book, so it's worth you know maybe fifty bucks in perfect condition, which you have, so we'll give you fifty. It's like, "No, it's worth five thousand. All right, well, go fuck yourself, man. Hmm. Huh. Uh, excuse me. Uh, I've, I've just about had. I, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be seeing Minecraft bl- or blocks breaking in my sleep. I have that happen sometimes. Yeah. We all do. I have had when I started playing Minecraft. I had dreams about creepers. Yeah. And I was like, oh, well, you're shit. just weird then. Mm. Right, this... Play enough, say Tetris Attack. Oh yeah. <laughs> You yeah. will see blocks shifting as you try to sleep. Uh huh. Or you know, I've actually had it happen with this guy. Yeah. Uh mm-hmm. huh. Oh, also, Puzzle Quest is great for that. Oh God, yeah, Puzzle Quest. Mm-hmm. So there's a uh, a bejeweled board game now. How does and that you, even? When you buy it, you can also get a digital copy of Bejeweled. Fucking imagine that. No, it, it's a board with pieces. But yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, when you... I know. I'm just telling. He asked how that hap or how's that work, and I was done. But yeah, it's a it's a board with plastic jewel pieces. And I mean, why would you even? Stupid. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's like you can buy now copies of as they put it, words with friends, which is Scrabble. Yeah. Or um, you know, draw something or whatever the hell it's called, which is of Dictionary? course Pictionary. Yeah, like, people are actually paying for these. That hurts my soul. Uh, Walt Whitman! Walt Whitman? Oh, God. Was it Walt Whitman? I think it was Walt Whitman. It might have been. Walt M- Whitman wasn't too awful. <laughs> I like his chocolate. Yeah, Whitman samplers are great. Uh-huh. Each one is poetry on the tongue. Uh... Unless it's got nougat in it. No, no, wait, I don't think it was Walt Whitman. Hold on, it might be Henry David Thoreau. Uh. Because there's this terrible Walden. That's what it was. I kept wanting to say it was Waldo and I knew that wasn't it. Was book? But yes, Walden is the one, is the, um, the proto manly man thing where he supposedly goes and lives with nature, living the simple life instead of. You know, living with <coughs> horrible people in the big, huge, awful cities. Motherfucker went out to his goddamn, you know, little country estate and did approximately fuck all. He didn't actually do anything. But he talked about how he was, you know, one with nature and communing with it. Yeah, basically had his how, servants. Yeah, and how, all the, how everybody should do this. But yeah, he was totally having servants do everything for him. And he was just sitting around, you know, not doing anything. Yeah, well, presidential candidates, what do you want? Oh, I'm so glad that water was... No, I'm just saying, this is what presidential candidates do. I'm so glad that water was as deep as it was. Why? Because I fell into it from a great height. That's a good reason to be grateful. I've only been in your country a short distance. Yes. A friend of our uncle's, apparently, he, he liked to decide... How people, or whether people were cool or not by, you know, shaking their hand, smiling. It's a pleasure to meet you. I've only been in your country for a very short distance. And if they rolled with it, he would be like, all right, they're cool. Ah. But if, yeah, no, it's blah. He'd be like, well, they're a jerk. (laughs) Which is fair. (laughs) Because I don't, all right. I don't care. 
Uh, well, I think I found ocean. Oh. I found a desert. I hope you didn't, because man, that movie series needs to end. Fine. What are we up to? I don't know. We've been here. It's like Ocean's Octuple 13 Donkey Dick. Oh, those oceans. Yeah. Those Octuple 13 Donkey Dick is totally a number. <laughs> <laughs> In crazy land. Yeah. That's okay. It's actually probably about time for us to quit sometime in the near future. Why won't the yeah. spider die? Because it hates because you. It hates you. But I keep setting it on fire. That proves you love it. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Get the fuck out of my brain. Well, say, but you always hurt the ones you love. The ones you shouldn't hurt at all. Ow. You always hurt the ones you love, dear. Yeah. You always take the sweetest rose and crush it till the petals fall. Ah, yes. I quote songs from the goddamn... 30s and no one will understand what the hell I'm talking about. No one understands what you're talking about when you uh, say anything anyway. Yeah, I know. So. That's true. It's pretty much par for the fucking course. I mean, of course, that's mostly because he gets a lot of stuff wrong. Yeah, I do. Usually on purpose, too. Yeah. Yeah. I like getting things wrong. It makes people angry. Yeah. <laughs> you and your fucking I'm just... game. Yeah. Traveling in a random direction, <laughs> I don't watching know. the uh, world render super fucking slow in front of me. I don't know what the fuck anything I'm fighting is in that game. Oh, it occurs to me that we should probably all go back to our houses and sleep for the night. Probably. Why? Because, I don't know about anybody else, but Jay's bed was missing and obscured, and if we end up restarting and, or, you know, coming back in and it didn't save our positions, it'll probably dump us down where, um... Wherever the hell it wants. Yeah. Where it's decided the new spawn point is. Uh, I don't know where I stared. What? Is it over here? Where the stairs are? No, no. I'm pretty sure that's an optical illusion. That and you lag zoomed past me, so I have no idea and fuck where you went. <laughs> well, it's not like there's anything out here to find, so... <coughs> oh, there they are. Ow! Oh. I apparently took damage from falling like half a block. That happens. And lag. Lag is a place now. It is. You are inside of a wall. You are going up the staircase <laughs> inside of the wall for me. But not for me. Come on, everybody. Everybody, everybody go to bed. Baby, leave it alone. Go to bed. Hold on. I don't have that much. Alright, well, yeah, let's go to bed. Okay. Now. Oh, the stairs. Ah, uh, my house is over there. Is the bed up there? Or... Yes, we... I think. Nope, the beds are not up here. And that's right, they're in a chest down bottom, which would be why our beds were missing or obstructed. Did you go get it? Sure. Hold on. Yeah. Thank you, Flurf Durfin. And then you can just TP up to me. That's true. I can always TP you. With real toilet paper. Because they're special, so I'll use the real toilet paper. Yay! <laughs> Most of the artificial toilet paper, which are made out of goblin anus. <laughs> <laughs> but it's what? so absorbent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know that absorbent is the word I'd be looking for. Probably juicy. Yeah. <laughs> Juice absorbent. Well, well, how did it get juiced <sighs> if it wasn't absorbent? All right, All right I'm everybody in bed. in bed. I'm in bed. I already slept. Get back up. Or go back to sleep. Sleep some more. I already slept. My position's set. Oh. I don't need to go back in. Well, we need you to sleep so that we can sleep. No, I'm good. <laughs> Are positions set once we lay in a bed at all, or? Uh, once the screen gets as dark as it gets. I think it's... That's supposed to lock the position in. I don't trust it. Get in the damn bed. No, I'm fine. I'll spawn right here. <laughs> XB, please get in a bed. You can probably even get out now and it'll set. 
I don't trust it, and I don't trust you. Well, one of those is justified. <laughs> Both of those are justified. <laughs> I didn't say which one was justified. Stop teabagging me. I'm not. I'm putting my butt in your face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Sticky keys. <laughs> uh-huh. That's what you get. Come on, guys. Seriously. Seriously, let's just everybody well, go to bed. Well, I got back in bed, but it didn't work. All right, hold on, everyone. Well, everybody should be in bed now. I'm in bed. All right, we're all in, I'm bed. in bed. Jay's in bed. You know, I tried to. He was putting his butt in your face. There you there go. We go. It didn't there work we go. anymore. Yay! All right, this is probably a good place for us to call it. Yes, it is. Because huh. you know, butts and faces. Yeah, face butts. Yeah. Wee. But, yeah, of course. Well, Thanks next time, we'll definitely be back with 1.5, and hopefully we'll be back with Tree Capitator. Woo! And maps. And maps. And maps. You're in 1.5 now. Well, yeah, but, you know, actual 1.5 with, you know. For realsies. And, yeah, stuff. Right, yeah. Bye, y'all. Bye.